This is the most stupidest thing I've ever heard of in my life. Planting a garden? Yeah. Is retarded. Hey, go buy your own vegetables. They're only like 69 cents. I know, right? I'm done with this shit till they come back. Tyler and Jake started cussing when my parents left. That made me feel like they were disrespecting me. Hot. That thing sucks. Stupid. When I came back out, I asked Natalie, was there any rules broken? And she said, oh, there was a lot of swearing going on. Are you having a bad attitude? No, I didn't even say anything. When I was gone, you didn't say anything? What did I say? I don't know, I'm asking. Oh, I've just been doing this. Rules are still rules, whether I'm here or not. I've been doing this. Are you going to back talk? Jake. No. Look at me. Go do the slosh pipe. Wow, really? The back talk was getting to a point where things were getting a little bit out of control. One time around above your head. Wow. That's two. Oh, my god. Miss Holly has no reason to tell me how to act. Ridiculous. <sighs> do I really have to do two laps? Do you think you've learned your lesson? Yeah. Can we go back in there and have a positive attitude? Sure. All right, come on. Every single day, day in and day out, you work. <laughs> I'm out here, and you make me want to carry a pole around a softball field. Jake. What? Lose the attitude. Never. Excuse me? Is it OK? <laughs> Sorry. Why are you laughing? I don't know. It's just funny what he's saying. It had me concerned by the tone which the teens were talking to my wife, so I kind of hustled over there to see if she needed some help. All I hear is your attitude when I'm walking out the barn. Are you kidding me? That's not flying at my house. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. You owe her an apology. Sorry, Miss Holly. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Easy with the attitude. I'm not having the talk, Tyler. Here. I was working. I don't are know you back talking to... me now? Can I just say something before you no. think I'm back talking? No, because you are. OK? You hit no, it. No, what I don't understand is how whenever no. something happens, you always think we're back talking, but we're just trying to explain okay, to you. And then you one. say, slosh pipe. The slosh pipe doesn't two. work. The slosh pipe is stupid. And that's you should three. do the slosh pipe. I'm not doing any of it. You're doing four now. You can do the slosh pipe. You're doing four. You're doing four. That's five. You're doing five. OK, you know what? Tyler, turn around, go to the front yard, sit in the rocking chair, and you're there until I tell you to get up. These teens have survived by debating and arguing with their parents. That's not going to happen here. You are not going to talk to her like that again. Do you understand me? I don't understand how okay. I was talking to her. Hit the field. No. Oh. Go. No. Mr. Pat's a big ass guy. He's really intimidating and he's trying to be a tough guy. You sit your butt down and you better not get off of it. Tyler, come here. This is where you sit until you do your laps. Okay. I'm not doing those laps. You either do the lap or you will sit here until your mother comes and gets you on Saturday. OK, well, if I do the lap, my uh, shoulder's going to pop out of place. No. Yeah. No, it won't. Yeah, it won't. I thought sitting on second base was a better option than walking with a slosh pipe, because if I walked with a slosh pipe, it would prove that he wins the argument. I'm so hot and tired from sitting in this stupid chair in front of the house in the sun. What you doing? I'm sorry for being disrespectful. Thank you. You need to go do your five. I really have to do five. That's what he said. I was really proud of her for that. I know that that took a lot for her to come and say. Tyler's walking around with the slosh pipe. I just feel like I'm like, I don't know why she gave in. It's very frustrating, you know, that on both our parts. As a young girl, young adult, gonna be very soon, you don't have much time left. I really want you to learn how to be respectful. 
All right. Finally, she realized what was right, and she did the right thing, and I'm proud of her for that. All right, so where are we at? One lap. No, where are we at? Where oh. are me and you at? The softball fields. Mm, it's not really what I'm looking for. The reason you're over here is because of your attitude and your language. And my question to you is, are you ready to live by my rules? Uh, I guess since I'm going to be sitting here the entire time, I guess I am going to do the lap, and I guess I am going to follow your rules. It was really boring out there, just sitting there on a base. I'll just do it. That boy's got a long road. Open it and leave. No one ever tells me what to do. I'm gonna stand here and I'll leave so I can watch TV. Jacob's main chore is to keep his room straight. When he was talking to us about the rules, I thought this guy was gonna be a pain in my ass. So you're going to sign that we have gone over these rules. 